Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be taking a look at a resistance trade here on the Russell. We get my targets in place here, one tick above the low, and then the final target we can probably just trail down to see what we can get out of it, but looking at the nearest resistance that we can work with is down here at 62.1, so we'll go just ahead of that for now and see if we can get a, a, a little bit of a shot down here. Uh, the Russell, pretty much after the open, has gone nowhere. You can see this price action has just been sideways and not really doing anything of it interest. Uh, we've seen this kind of back-to-back -back pattern where we make this fake break high and then it just drops right back to the downside. Now we just made a fake break low and drop right back up to the upside. Now I'm expecting this to reverse right back down like we did over here. Uh, we bounced up, came back up, now we have that fake break. Now we're looking for a rejection back to the lows. So we're in short at 68.1. Stop is at 69.1. I'm looking at targeting a little bit farther down here. Looking at 66.2 is probably the safest place to take our target out. It's only two ticks difference. Uh, typically, I like to target back to these lows again with these resistance uh, sort of trades. But the fact that we've got this dashed line cutting, cutting through here, and we can see that's acted as support so many times already this morning, there's no sense in really risking it bouncing up and missing our full target. So looking at 66.2 is our first target there. Uh, if we do get that one hit, we'll be locking in 19 ticks. Uh, now keep in mind that's two contracts off there. And then the final one down here, back to the low of day, if we get that one filled, it'll be another 59 to the downside. Now, will it run that far before it stops us out on our trail? Maybe, maybe not. It's always the hope down to 59, but we'll see where it wants to go. Uh, first things first, so we need to bring back down to 66.2 to hit that first target. If we can fill all of these, we're looking at 38 on the first target. Target. And then if we can get that second one, we'll be looking at 156 total on the trade, which would be just a beautiful move to the downside. Uh, we'll see what's actually in store, though, uh, and look to possibly get this first target filled here in a couple seconds. Uh, now, we are seeing a really aggressive reaction here. And the reason I like, normally I like to wait for a little bit of almost like a double tap, where it hits that area, bounces off, comes back, retests it, and then rejects. But right at that level, 68.8, we also had this dashed line at 68.8. Uh, and that actually held it in all morning. We've been seeing that level hold just like we have this dotted line down here, this orange line uh, holding all morning as well. And the fact that they stacked up right on top of each other, as soon as I saw a reversal bar, I want in. Uh, and it is a little bit more aggressive. You know, typically you want to wait for a retest of that area, just like you do with any support or resistance type trade. Uh, but in this case, the fact that they were stacked up just made it really, really pretty. Hard to mess that one. So coming down one tick away from our target here, because we're one tick away from our target, I'm going to get aggressive and I'm going to lock my stop. And last thing I want to see is this thing to reverse and, you know, miss us on this move. So you can see it is bouncing a little bit ahead of that line there. Uh, so, uh, you know, it might not be bad to push this up one tick ahead of that line too, just to see if we can get it filled here at 66.3. Now that's what I'm going to do. And that means that we're going to be taking 18 ticks on the first target. If we can get it filled, it's already tested it once. There we go. And that's why I wanted to do that because now I, I know that I'm out ahead of everyone else. Uh, chances are when you come into these levels like this, it's going to bounce around, rattle around. It may still break through it, but I really don't feel like, you know, trying to sit through another, you know, reverse law. And you can see it bouncing again. This is why I like going one tick ahead of those support and resistance levels. That reversal right there. Again, it may come crashing right through that level, but the last thing you want to do is miss your target because it didn't fill you to the tick and then bounces up and stops you out. Really, really bad situation there. So we got out of 18 instead of 19. One tick difference. Not really a big deal there and they're fighting it right now if this does break through chances are you might get a nice little run to the downside uh, but we've got our 36 ticks locked up this time uh, because we took one tick difference off that at 18 now we'll see if they can kind of follow through and push down to this next target back to the low of day 62.2 and uh, we'll have one heck of a trade on our hands already sitting really well on this trade just need to see a little bit of follow through so we'll be back in a little bit see if we can start pushing down all right, we're back. It happened really quick. Uh, the, the Russell just hammered lower and then bounced right back up again and hit our stop. Now, I'm, I've been really aggressive on this stop. The fact that we've had these previous swings, these green lines coming in, if you see any type of reaction there, it could just be a potential double bottom, could be a potential double bottom, maybe a little bit of a blow off like we had back here, but typically you see a reaction pretty strong. Uh, so I really don't want to play around with those. So, you know, any opportunity that you see a reversal bar like that off of one of those swings, got to be a little bit aggressive. So I took my target off right there, actually got stopped out right there, uh, just based on the fact that I saw that reversal bar and a couple more green candles following it up. That's where I hopped out. It may still fall lower, but typically this is an initial sign that it's going to get really choppy around here. And after that big of a move down, you really don't want to play around with it. 
So we've got our target off at 31. We already took 36 off. We took two more off at 31. So that gives us a total of 98 ticks on the trade, 980 bucks. Definitely a nice reaction off of that support or that resistance level up at those highs there. Just a gorgeous little move on the Russell. Now, again, we're still sideways. I mean, if we look at this and we zoom way out, we really haven't gone anywhere. Uh, it's more of just one big sideways range, and now we're attempting to break out of the lows. Now, this retest of this low area here, that may cause them to fall a little bit lower. But again, you know, you really don't want to mess around with them. You start hitting these lower levels here, uh, just like we had back here. You hit that green level, double bottom right back up again, and you get this big reaction. And that's the last thing you want to sit through after you've already banked a nice profit just to get stopped out of break even because you didn't lock in a little more aggressively. So that's going to be the trade, $980. If you have any questions on it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade. Don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. And as always, we'll catch you next time.